man guys we are coming to the end i'm gonna wrap all this up and so uh i don't know guys again this was just a waste of time to me them playing with blankets and stuff <laughs> i was no, just like man. i was just like no nah, man they need to be doing some more development but y'all fall in love with yourself masturbating oh, looking at man. each other but this but this it's, i'm just i'm just being honest man that's just how i felt you know i didn't i, didn't, I wasn't feeling it but then you got this right here this little standoff for her us versus the cloud us versus a, 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 a liar or whatever and i like i do like this scene like so i like this and i like they hugged each other thank you my friend that was nice that was touching you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he got the sword he done made it he done conjured up a, a sheath on the back to put it in and i, <laughs> I like that so that, and but hold on i gotta say though this don't make no sense to me so sylvie got the tin pan sends mobius back to the tva what are you gonna do he said i'm gonna burn it down Mm -hmm. Classic Loki and Kid Loki, and now they get a Loki now. We're gonna stay here. This is my home. What? <laughs> Put on the wine. <laughs> Earlier, y'all talking about don't die, don't die. But you know, now we're gonna chill. You know what I'm saying? We know what we're doing, bro. Go back to your planet that you was chilling on. Did you have your feet kicked back up? You want to stay here? You got a ten pad. That didn't make no damn sense to me, but you know, well, didn't they? Well, they, 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 they're timeline got erased. They can't yeah, go back. Home. Man, they can go they anywhere to go. they want. They can go anywhere they want. <laughs> right. They can go right. home home on the TV. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> we we gonna get here. <laughs> he can go anywhere he wants. You know what I'm saying? And to he add to that, be Avery, where can they go where they can succeed in the way they're succeeding on this planet? Because these yeah, are Loki they're kings here. They're bro, yeah, they're, these man, are Loki. Yeah. No, no, bro. They don't even got to be Loki no more, man. He can be a retiree and go to the casino, bro, and hit on chicks at the pool. Anyway. Oh, but see, that's how he got caught in the first place. Exactly. They that's think, how no. he got caught in the first place. This is home. This is so, home. So, so <laughs> they doing, uh, they, they finna do this little ultimate showdown, and, you know, it, it's quite it's quite nice. He's trying to do a, the, the distraction. I like oh, the man. flame of sword. It ain't too. working, but your boy, <laughs> your boy, classic Loki, come and get me. What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? This <laughs> oh, ain't working. This oh, dude is back in <laughs> He got his Game of Thrones sword up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. But oh. she turned, she so he turned his powers on. She turned hers on, and then he finna go super Saiyan over here. And this right here was a badass moment in the episode. He just screaming like, oh, oh grunting. Man. That that was nice, he, man. Yeah. I was like, I was feeling this. He just giving it all. Mm -hmm. Show me he got all the power. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He can f with he man. And I I think we're stronger <laughs> than we realize. I like that. And yeah. he is conjuring up uh uh Asgard as a distraction. And it's just badass. I mean, yeah. it don't get no more superhero than they do yeah. right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, he ends up dying. Glorious purpose. I don't ha, think he's ha, dead. Ha. I'm going out like a G, and he ends up dying, man. And I don't think he's dead. You don't? Oh, and yeah. so they doing, they doing their thing. They're trying to do the enchantment and all that good stuff. And then, you know, it, 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 tur it turns into this right here. It turns into this right here. Mm. One take, big dog. I'm coming to you next, man. I'm coming to you next. How you feeling about all that? Break it down, the ending, Ooh. and also what you think gonna happen next week. Okay, okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to get all this in together. Uh, first of all, don't knock the blanket, man. Don't knock the, that work. Okay, that connection between those two is there. Okay, the one blanket, then he made it two. That was a player move. Okay, did nobody say you thought he was gonna give her own, but now nah, he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna make this one longer. She gonna have to get a little closer with me. I like that. First of all, I like that. Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna have to go to like them prepare for battle. I gotta agree with you, B. 
they could have literally went anywhere they wanted. Yeah. And they <laughs> we gonna chill right here in this like apocalyptic land where stuff is always crazy. made up by this big cloud. Okay, crazy. They 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 have never ex- experienced an ice cream sundae or nothing. Like, what are y'all? What are y'all they, they had a multiverse remote control and they wanted to. Like we just we just go chill right here. One taking B Avery. Oscar the Grouch never wanted to leave his trash can on Sesame Street. There Street. were no <laughs> girls there. There is no women. Like y'all just gonna see. this is a sausage party for life, for yeah. eternity. We not gonna do that. We not gonna justify that. You know what I'm okay. But the moment I do love the best moment throughout the episode is literally OG. I call him OG Loki, just powering up, showing what they're capable of. And I think this right, that right there, pretty much shows like what every Loki is capable of. I, I maybe mm. within due time, because I do think they all have the same power set. That's why when uh, they both uh, in challenge uh, 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 Elias, it wasn't like a big stretch to me because I've, I've seen some people say like, oh, it didn't really make sense. But like they're they're all Loki, so they should be capable of the same things. And like them just them together is more powerful than one. Obviously, I think that's one of the things that was uh, trying to get through this episode. So I enjoyed that. But um, the, the the power demonstration I thought was amazing. And another thing I, th- I think uh, Elliot talked about. Uh, earlier with like the production as far as that score once we went back and watched that scene you just hear that score like uh like kick in and then it starts to amp up when like the the, the gateways open up i guess now as far as looking at looking out through it i don't know exact of course i don't know who's in it I, i'm pre- i'm predicting another loki just because that's the reason you would want to get rid of all these other lokis and then get them mm-hmm. so you can be the the the, the loki of our lokis but it it looks weird because I'm just looking like around the background of it. It looks like maybe uh, either the Bifrost, uh, 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 the Quantum Realm, or I can't. I think that was the Bifrost when um I, I'm thinking about the Thor Ragnarok when Loki and Thor got kicked out uh, uh, when they was fighting Hela. So it, it looks similar to that. So I'm kind of wondering where does it exist exactly. Or can we like find it somewhere other than past, just like the void? But I enjoy, like I said, OG Loki going out, you know, screaming, chanting like his war cry. I thought that was amazing. I'm looking forward to uh the, the other Loki's picking up these high types of talents because he was out here really just like flexing, you know, he was yeah. out just showing out. What you what you think about this though? Oh, they're right, the, the the portal. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think well. I mean, obviously they're gonna walk through it, but I don't. I think it's another Loki right there, just waiting on them, and, okay, and they're okay. probably gonna mm-hmm. catch that air next week for a little bit. But of course, Loki likes to talk, so he pretty much gonna tell him the entire plan and stuff. Why are you doing right that? <laughs> Dad, thank you so much for the super chat, fourteen ninety nine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, Elliot, how you feeling about this ending, man? Break it down. How yeah. you feeling? Well, t- to defend Loki, Kid Loki, uh, a classic like Loki staying, I'll say this. Even if they were to go to another timeline, their timelines are filled with Avengers and heroes and timekeepers and all that different stuff. So why not just have a place where there are no timekeepers, there are no rules, no regulations. Go wild. That's why I think this is chaos they love chaos so they're living literally living on a planet to do everything so that i'll just say that there ain't gonna be no more police because mobius trying to burn it down but go ahead hey women money i'm I'm sorry and trust me i don't think this is the last time we're gonna see the low keys i think we're gonna get Mm -hmm. kicked low key and pain again but i do i can understand why they stay even though it's a sausage fest but going into this this finale you know low key saying goodbye to mobius was great i don't think this is the last time they'll see each other uh but again i think uh big dog made a great point this is low key seeing the powers being used if these low keys can get on the same page they can be pretty powerful beings mm-hmm. uh which i think kind of this show is really kind of showing when you can band up together you can do a lot of things so uh seeing richard e grant again recreating projecting asgard just this, again this shows you the powers of loki uh which i think like Big Dog, and I believe Lamont thinks this too. I think at the end of the day, when we go to that castle, it will be revealed that there will be a King Loki. But I think behind that King Loki is very similar to our version of Loki, who 
created the Avengers. They had to avenge Coulson. So I think behind the scenes, that's where we'll get the little Easter egg that it's someone like the power broker. I don't think Sharon Carter is the be one all be all. She was on the phone at the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier talking to someone else. So I think King Loki is being manipulated, being puppet mastered by a Thanos E type of character, a la King the Conqueror. So uh, I don't expect any big King reveal tomorrow or, you know, a Beyonder type of thing. I think it will be a King Loki, but he will be working for someone else, which might be that Jonathan Majors uh, Easter egg that we may get. Because the show literally every single episode has been King the Conqueror. Even this episode, we get the pyramid of the, uh, you know, the Egyptian pyramid. We get the all the different, the, this, the Elioth character. Character is a Kane the Conqueror, or, or, you know, Renslayer is connected to Kane the Conqueror. So the show has yeah. given us so much Kane the Conqueror things. But mm -hmm. MCU, they've done it in the past. They've literally given storylines to different characters just to play it out in the MCU. So they could be given all the Kane stuff to a King Loki. So we'll right see on. what next week has to give us. Lam uh, Lamont, how you feeling about this ending, man? Break it down. Uh, I enjoyed every piece of it, man. I really, really enjoyed the the, the fake sacrifice. That a lot of people think that classic Loki did because I'm not he's not dead so I'm sure a lot of people think he's dead but I mean if you're gonna go out like a G this is how yeah. you go out like a G you know they know that this thing loves to eat matter and so he's decided I'm gonna create the biggest illusion you ever seen since David Copperfield and he does it and he sits there goes out and let the rest of them go ahead and handle their business they enchant a liar and when you put that picture up be Avery where you have the castle and you have the white lines and you have all those colors behind it. I wanted to touch on this for a quick minute. That white line is supposed to be the timeline. That's the same timeline that you see when they have the posters and you see when they have the TVA showing the timeline, that's the timeline. And that purple thing behind them is supposed to be where all the multiverses converge, similar to being in the space that one take said, when you go through the Bifrost, and you're going through that little parallel, that's where everything is supposed to converge right there. That's where it all ends and stops at that moment. And mm -hmm. so my last point is I agree with Elliot um, that someone, that there's going to be a Loki in there, someone's manipulating that Loki, but my guess, because they keep trying to make us think it's Kang doing the manipulating, because there was even a piece in here in this episode where it was Avengers Tower, but it had Kang paraphernalia on the side, Mm -hmm. I think the person that's going to be manipulating this particular Loki is going to be the Beyonder. Okay, okay. Right on, right on, right on. I love all that, gentlemen. I love it, I love it, I love it. And uh, just real quick before we close this part of the segment, also, this is uh, that's kind of more what you're talking about right there, uh, mm -hmm. Lamont, that white line. That just kind of mm -hmm. pop up mm -hmm. right there, so that's interesting. So out of, this, out of the five episodes, my favorite so far is number four. Okay. Uh, one take. What is your favorite so far? Uh, and three is my least four. favorite. Number four. Number four. Elliot, what about you? I'm a sucker for production, man. I think that episode five just slightly beats out episode four because, again, that score, the cinematography in this episode. Mm. And again, we talked about it, man. It was some great acting, some great character moments. Literally, classic Loki. We meet him in one episode. And we fall in love with him by the end of the episode. This is great writing, great acting on a lot of levels. Uh, and I think it does set up a pretty interesting finale. So I, I got episode five is literally just a hair above episode four mm, just due to the mm. fact that I thought the production of this episode was flawless. So for me, it's four, one, two, five, three. Wow. Uh, Lamont. Uh, yeah, Lamont. <laughs> what's your favorite yeah, episode? Five. Number five. Yeah. Number Definitely five. number five. I mean, every everything was immaculate for me in this one. Everything. Production. The okay. music that they played for Man. OG Loki when he was raising up Asgard. Yeah. It was kind of a combination of the music for Thor mixed with the music they're doing with Loki in this series, and they just mashed it together. And the tempo went with the way he was trying to project his power. So mm -hmm. for me, everything was right here in number five. They set it up oh. great. And I would not be surprised if we get a whole Loki series and a team up. So definitely five for me. Right on, man. And well said, well said, well said. And so I love it. I love it. Uh, Ocean's Truth and Wisdom. I totally agree with Lamont. Classic OG Loki ain't dead. Uh, I, I hope so. So, uh, Marie Cherie says none of the episodes gave me high of one. I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, out in the chat right now, we got 94 people in the chat. 
right now go ahead and give me 94 thumbs up i would really appreciate it thank you and that will conclude the loki portion of this live stream today for episode five journey into mystery